Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be painting a flaxen mane and tail on a micro mini. So I have a cover girl here that already has her base coat done. I want her to be a flaxen liver chestnut. So she has her livery dark chestnut done. And the first thing that I'm going to do, which you can see here, is paint the entire mane and tail with a cream color. Um, I think it's called Titan Buff. I'll show you the paints later in the video, but I'm going to do a base layer of this Titan Buff just to get a nice, even surface to start on, on the entire mane and tail. So here I'm just finishing up putting on the base layer so that we can start putting on other colors. I like to start putting on other colors when the base layer is still a little bit wet because it helps blend the paints pretty naturally. I really like the look that it comes with and I do this technique when I'm painting the hooves as well. So I'm going to put on this sienna color all over the mane and tail just like I did with the base layer covering up my entire base layer. Now I'll go back in later and I'll paint on top of this yellow with the base layer color again, but you'll see that later and I'll explain it a little bit better. When this yellow is still wet, I'm going to start introducing burnt sienna to redden up the mixture a little bit. Now I'm going to be honest, be very, very careful with burnt sienna. If you know how to use it, great. I kind of don't know how to use it and it can be very overpowering in my paintings. It can just make everything look very, very red, and even chestnuts aren't really that red, and I kind of had a hard time grasping that when I first started painting. Be very careful with burnt sienna with your bays or your chestnuts. It just, it's a little scary to me, okay? You can look through my old photos. My horses were very, very red, and it's because I was using burnt sienna. You just need a little drop of burnt sienna. Um... So I'm actually mixing it in with my Titan Buff and my regular Sienna just to add a little bit of red to it. But you can see I'm not picking up paint from the red pile. I'm just using the mixture with it. Now I'm going to be going in with Burnt Umber here in a second, I believe, and add my low lights. I like to do my base layer, do my middle tones, my low lights and then go back in with my lighter tones on top of the darker tones if that makes any sense when painting manes and tails I do not do this while I'm airbrushing I just go from light to dark and with pastelling you should just go from light to dark but with manes and tails for whatever reason I really like this technique so everything that I'm doing here is kind of sloppy and I also don't really know what I'm doing but I think it turned out looking well and I really like burnt umber. I think it's a really great overall color. So I'm going to be putting burnt umber in by the top of the tail and by the base of the mane where the mane is darker. And then I'll kind of drag it down a little bit so that I can get the streakiness in later when I go back in with my highlight color. Hi everyone. So I have done a few layers of painting the flaxen mane and tail on this micro cover girl and I put on a layer of sealer and I think she looks really really good um once you put sealer on horses it kind of makes everything come together it shows their true color I did a thin layer of pastels on her nose and all over her body and her dark points on her legs and it really pulled together her airbrush base coat. So you already saw me in the time lapse working on her mane and tail and I think I have to go back into them and redefine the highlights. There are some areas down here that look very messy from the wet blending of the acrylic paint and possibly a little bit of pastel dust got stuck to them. I will show you guys the process of me going back in with lighter paint and redefining that mane and tail, and then we'll go in and do her details, like her eyes and her legs. All right, so I think I'm gonna show you guys the process of me mixing up my paints and putting it on her. So this is my reference photo. Um, as you can see, the horse is pretty blonde in the mane, but then it gets darker in the tail. 
So I really need to lighten up her mane. For this, I am going to be using mostly Titan Buff. Is that how you say that? Titan Buff? I always called it Titanium. I don't know why. Oh, that's because this is Titanium Light. Okay, so I'm going to be using Titan Buff and Raw Sienna and then possibly a little bit of Titan White. We'll see. But I think I'm just going to stick to these three colors. Um, so I already have this base coat done with the darker and now I kind of want to lighten it up. So I'm actually going to work from my darkest paint to my lightest paint. Um, I think that's just going to work out better in this situation. Basically, on the high points of the mane, I'm just going to go in with this yellow color and start to bring the color back up. To something a little bit lighter. So I just put on that lighter titanium buff and now I'm going to go back onto what I just painted on with the darker color, what's it called? Sienna something. <laughs> and um, mix it together on the horse while it's wet. And I have no idea what I'm doing. But I think that looks, oops, sorry, I keep knocking it. I think that looks a lot better than it did before. So I was trying to go in with just this sienna color, but it's just kind of thin. Um, it doesn't have the best pigment. You can see when I put it on there, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So I'm going to take a paint I know has a lot of pigment, which is this Titan color, and then go back in and bring it back. Just like this. And when I do mains, it's a lot of back and forth. I will bring this to be too light and then I will work darker again and then I'll bring it back lighter until I reach exactly where I want to be. Um, but for now, I think this technique is working pretty well. So right there, is a more elevated portion of the mane. This sticks out really far. So when I go in with my Titan buff, I am going to try and concentrate it up here and not take it down so far. So you see, I left it kind of up on the top and then when I go in with my sienna color, I'm gonna keep it to like the middle section. I'm gonna be too much on there still. Like that. And I get a little bit of pooling there and draw that out with a dry brush. So it needs more work. Um, here's the back side. But I'm basically going to be doing this technique on the whole horse, and I'm just going to time lapse it for you. Alright, so as promised, here's a little time lapse video of me finishing the rest of the mane. I just went in with the Titan buff and the Sienna color, and then off camera I went in with a burnt umber, and I will show you that in a second. Alright everyone, so this is what the final cover girl looks like. I think I'm pretty happy with this mane and the tail. The tail might need a little bit more blending, 
but I think it looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video and then next you will see how I do white markings. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, thank you for staying until the end of the video and thank you so much for all the support I've been receiving so far. It really means a lot. I'm sorry that this video is kind of choppy and weird. It's my first time ever recording me actually painting. So I think once I get used to things, things will move along smoother and be a little bit more entertaining. I just have no idea what I'm doing right now. And this all feels very awkward and unnatural. So I do hope to make more videos in the future. I will have a white markings video coming out. I'm very excited to film it. White markings are one of my favorite things to do. And I'm very excited to learn. So please, if you have any tips and tricks, please put them in the comments below. Subscribe and share with your friends, of course, because I want to help as many people learn how to paint as I can. And thank you for sticking this video out. I think it was kind of weird editing it, so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you all so much. Bye!